in the infomercials, but before you bring it into your kitchen, April Madison is here to try before you buy. I really like this one, April. What's this thing about the, the new wave? What is this? Yeah, thing? that's what it's called. It claims to uh, cut your cooking time in half and save energy, and your food still tastes great. But does it work? Today we test the new wave infrared oven. All right, today we're going to test the new wave infrared oven. And with me is Bob. Bob is actually the person that emailed me and wanted me to test this product because it claims to be able to do a lot of things, make your life a lot easier in the kitchen. And you were hoping that this would be true. You bet. I just don't have a lot of time to, to cook food at nighttime. And I was hoping that uh, if I can still get the same nutritious and good tasting food as you do by putting it in an oven, in half the time without heating my, my house up this time right. of year, this would be terrific. The New Wave oven claims to cut your cooking time in half, so we decided to test this theory by cooking burgers on the stovetop first. So it took the hamburger patties about, what, 20 minutes or 20 so? 20 minutes, yes. To cook on an actual stovetop. So we've put a couple of patties in combination with a couple of frozen, partially frozen, Pretty thick pork chop loins inside the new wave oven. It's supposed to cut the time in half. We put it at around 12 minutes, so we'll see what happens. After just four to five minutes, we take the burgers out and compare them to the stovetop. I'd say the new wave burgers definitely look tastier. So while we taste test the burgers and the pork chops, we're gonna put in a pizza and we're gonna see if it truly cuts the time in half. The cook time says 12 to 14 minutes from frozen. So with this partially frozen pizza, it should only take about four to five minutes. The question is, will it taste the same? Okay, so the new wave oven has proven to cook much faster, cutting the time in half just like it says it was going to, but will it taste the same or even better? Yeah. Right. That's the big question at this point. We'll take a look next hour. And uh, don't worry, if you missed this particular section or segment, we will have uh, both. So if you missed the 5 o'clock or the 6 o'clock hour, we'll have both on our website following the show. What a tough assignment, <laughs> eating delicious food. It was rough. It was rough. And I got to choose which food I wanted to cook to. Oh, that's a good one. Yes, last hour we showed you the new wave infrared oven was able to cut your cooking time in half. We cooked two hamburger patties on the stove, which just took us about, oh, 20 minutes or so, compared to just five minutes in the new wave oven. But the question is, does it taste the same or even better? Let's take a look. Okay, the pizza is cooking, so let's try the burgers and pork loins. I'll start with the new wave burger while Bob tests the stovetop. Here we go. Mmm. Oh, good. A little bit dry, but it's good. Really? Mm-hmm. Mine's not dry at all. Let's switch. Okay. Okay, I'll try this one. Probably wasn't good that I tried the new way first. Are you ready for your second bite? You bet. Go. This is juicier. Oh. Mm-hmm. The new wave, hands down. Hands down better, wouldn't you agree? Yes. Mm. New wave. One point. All right, now for the pork. Ready? Great. That really? is wonderful. And you've cooked these in your oven usually. How yes. long does it take you to cook in your oven? Two hours. Two hours. All right, new wave. Two points. Yeah. <laughs> and last but not least, the pizza. Done after just five minutes of cooking. Hot. Mm. Hot and tasty. Oh, it is. It is good. Okay, that's uh, three points <laughs> for the new wave. Would you now, based on everything that we've cooked here, would you buy one of these? Yes, I would. Are you planning to? Yes, I am. <laughs> there you have it. New mm -hmm. wave. Thumbs up. Ooh, uh, making me hungry. I know. Oh, it was also good. Um, and oh, yeah. the best part is there is no preheating. So, and that was one of the things I thought you'd have to preheat it like you do your mm -hmm. oven. So it not only cooks the time in, in half the amount of time, but you don't even have to preheat. So if you add that, I'd say it's like a quarter. Sure. And as if the burgers, the pork chops, and the pizza weren't enough, <laughs> we also cooked a pound of bacon yeah. afterwards, which Bob also brought in. And in just minutes, literally like five, mm. six minutes, I'm awesome. told by the people that ate it that it was incredible. So, I mean, I love how you waited for his response. You were dying to say it was delicious. But I know. You waited I know. And I'm like, like, yes. What do you think, Bob? Because I don't want people to think it's just me. Right. It was ideal to bring somebody yeah. else in, and it was his idea. Sure. He's the one who wanted to try this thing. So, just incredible. You can buy one actually online on their website. I think it's like three payments of 40 bucks or something, plus shipping and handling. Uh, and I'm telling you, for the money, 
it's worth it. I've been using it every day since. <laughs> oh. And if you have a product that you'd like me to try before you buy, send an email to me. Does it work at kgun9.com? That one was a lot of fun.